guys, uh, welcome to part three of our Me and Maddie's Only Hakke adventure. <laughs> this time we're doing, uh, what was the originally called? Oh, uh, I should probably look that up. <laughs> yeah, the Evening Glow in Seta, I think is the Yeah, English it is, but what is it, Seta or something? Um, I no, it's Seta no Sekisho. Seta no Sekisho? Yeah, which okay. I think is a word that's even kind of um, obscure yeah. in Japanese. But they also call it like Seta no Karahashi. Right, yes. Um, that's this lovely bridge behind us. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's... There it oh, is. there it is. There right it is. about here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's lots of bridges connecting um, the two sides of the river. Um, and even in middle, like, narrower parts of the lake now. Mm -hmm. But there did not used to be at all. Um, it was just uh, this bridge. It was really important because it was the only way to get from east side of Japan like to Kyoto. So right next to us, you might hear it in the background, is the Shinkansen or the bullet train, mm -hmm. um, which is, again, it's going across that same route as it did, you know, so many years ago. Yeah, and, and people that need to go to towards Tokyo. So. Yeah, it is the Tokaido Shinkansen, it is, right? It is the Tokaido yeah. Shinkansen. So it, like it's the same thing. People are traveling the same ways as they did before for virtually the same purposes. They're just doing mm -hmm. it in different ways. Yeah. But there's also a lot of um, like myths, like legends about this bridge, like funny great stories that are amazing. Let's see, so my favorite I found on online, there's there's a legend about a giant mukade, which is like a type of centipede that lives here. The, the giant poisonous yeah. centipede. Yeah, really poisonous. Yeah. I'll get to how giant it was, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna save that for as a surprise. So there was this guy named Fujiwara no Hidesato. I guess it would be Hidesato Fujiwara in English. He came to Karahashi Bridge and wanted to cross it and there was a giant snake on it so like no one or maybe the snake was stretched across the water like a bridge it was very unclear in the story i read oh, okay. i'm sure there's various versions there's a giant snake at karahashi no one was brave enough to go near it or cross the bridge um but he's like a warrior so or he's like a you know hero guy like her you know he's, you know the, the standardized the you know picture, hero picture an anime hero picture like hercules oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> he um he was brave, so he climbed, he like just kind of straddled the snake and walked across the bridge or used it to climb across or whatever. Mm -hmm. The snake suddenly turned into, or an old man appeared before him. And that old man was the Dragon King of Lake Biwa. So the Dragon King is another legend where he's said to live like deep underneath in a dragon, like underwater doesn't palace. He live, doesn't he live under the river, like under the bridge? Yeah, I think he's somewhere in here. And he said like oh i've been waiting for a brave person to like a brave hero i'm trying to find a brave hero so i turned myself into the snake so no one would come near me and mm -hmm. accept a brave you know person he's like i saw you're brave um i need you to do something for me there's a giant mukade a giant centipede poisonous centipede on mount mikami which is you can't see it today but it's like a it's in yasu and it's shaped kind of like mount fuji that's omi fuji omi fuji yeah. yeah but it's also called mount mikami and it was big enough that it encircled the mountain seven and a half times yeah. so it was giant and so the king's like can you go kill that for me please i don't know why it didn't say no, why no it was because i guess it was terrorizing it was eating all the fish in lake biwa yes it was eating all the fish in lake biwa he asked him to go exterminate the mukade they always use the japanese word exterminate, exterminate not kill yeah because it's like that's a, a pest so he goes to do that and he sees the giant mukare and he fires an arrow at it and he fires another arrow at it it doesn't do anything and then on the third arrow he suddenly remembers that oh human spit is poisonous to mukare so he spits on the last arrow shoots the mukare and kills it see, you three know, arrows see, you know this is fiction because in real life i don't think three arrows would kill a mukare but that spit is really even a, poisonous even a normal, even <laughs> and you <a> <laughs> Don't spit on a mukare if you see it. So this is number three. Number three on the Omi Hake. So we're Eight crossing off, we're crossing off one mm -hmm. by one. If you like this video, leave a like. If not, that's okay. <laughs> and subscribe if you want. Emily makes really cool videos. Yeah, thanks a lot, right, guys. We'll yes. see you on our next adventure. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Bye.